Hi everybody, Stephanie here with the Jefferson Performing Arts Society. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a prop. And what we're going to make are sweet potatoes. Alright, welcome everybody to my at home prop studio in my kitchen. Uh, I've got everything laid out, so let's show you what are the tools that you're going to need in order to make your sweet potato. First, I like to lay on a countertop some cling wrap or plastic wrap just to protect that surface uh, so that the dye doesn't stain your counters. Uh, you'll need some bubble wrap, two different bowls, one with clear water, the other one we're going to put our dye in or you can use food coloring. Uh, you will also need some gloves, um, a stocking, I have some knee-high stockings that I'm going to cut in half. We also have, this is a triangle bandage. You could probably find this in a first aid kit or another option to use our uh, cheesecloth. Um, then we have some scissors and a whisk in order to mix the dye and then a brush for some detail work at the end. So first we're going to prep our countertop with some cling wrap. water here. I've already got water in both of my bowls. Let me grab a spoon. Okay, so this is a rust brown dye. Um, again, you can use food coloring, just kind of make a orangish brown color. Next, what we're going to do is cut off some of our bubble wrap. Just get this opened and ready to go, our triangle bandage or your cheesecloth, whatever you have at home. Uh, I'm going to cut my pantyhose. I want to use the stocking, um, the toe end. So I just kind of fold it in half, take my scissors, and just give it a snip that to the side. So now we've got our pantyhose cut ready to go. So next um, I like to take the bubble wrap and one side the bubbles protrude, stick out a little more, the other one it's flat. I like to fold it uh, into itself where the flat side um, sticks out. the tip of my triangle bandage and then I'm going to roll my bubble wrap in this. And then from here you've got your bubble wrap, your bandage, all wrapped up, ready to go in an oval shape, kind of like a potato, what you're trying to accomplish here. And then we're going to stuff it into our pantyhose stockings. And then I'm going to snip off this excess stocking so it just has the knot. We're going to dye the sweet potato. So I like to just kind of dip and roll into my uh, dyed water, bring it out. Just keep dipping until you get the color that you want. Again, we're kind of going for a reddish brown. The longer you leave it in the color, the more um, saturated it's going to become. So just make sure that you, if you get a little too dark, that's why this water is here, uh, you can just do a quick little rinse and take off some of that excess color. Sweet potato. 
potato. So we're gonna let this dry. It does take a couple hours probably just to make sure that all the uh, water is absorbed and that the color uh, doesn't separate. Um, and that way when our next step with the detail, it doesn't just spread, it actually stays uh, in the place that you put it. So that's our next step. Uh, so these are the sweet potatoes I showed you at the beginning of the video that I've worked on. Um, I've already kind of started some of the detail. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but there are certain places that are a little bit darker than others. And that's gonna help just kind of add a little bit more dimension uh, to your sweet potatoes to help them just kind of look a little bit more realistic. And this is where our brush comes in. So I'm just going to dip it into the dyed water that I already have. And I'm just kind of place little spots just kind of where I think I see fit. I don't want it to go all over the place. But just random little spots. Just to create a little bit more dimension. Yes, friends. I hope you had fun uh, watching me make a prop sweet potato and I'd love to see what you guys can do. Um, and maybe after all this we can play some hot potato.